Hey guys, Patrick here in Southwest Fort Worth, and I was planning to do a little video on the cribs today, so we'll uh, get to see them in here. You can see all my different crevenses and a lot of the Bozeman eye that are growing out. But I've got several people coming over for some cherry shrimp today. And I just wanted to show you something that's pretty crazy. So I've got some people coming over for an order. And so I have Here. And so I set up this stir light container and I had some like one of the really red, it was the uh, Taiwanese fire shrimp. And you can see how, how red those guys are, like there's one right there. And it was buried, she was full of eggs. So I put her in there and this was maybe two months ago, something like that. Anyway, I put her in there. So she could have babies and um and then i could grow more out and just see how it does and then i went because i have so many orders coming today i let me look over here i decided to empty it today i poured a bunch a bunch out over here but then most of them I just took a net and dumped it out in the net. And I just want to show you in that time period, because it was just, just the shrimp, just how many I got. Because as I was emptying the net, I was kind of blown away by all the movement. All the shrimp in this net. So now we're going to flip it over and see just how many... And you can see that's the one red one, that one right there. That is the one I put in here because she was so cool and so red. I put her in and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take her out again. In fact, I'll get a smaller net to do that. But I'm going to take her out again, put her back in, and I just put some plants in there, like a little hornwort and stuff. Put it in there. I wish the fry were as red as she is, but... Just the cherry shrimp, anyway. So I've got her back in there now. And we will do that again in a few months. But you can see just all of the cherry shrimp. That's not even all of them. There's a whole lot more. That's just some. It came from, from her spawning and then others are spawning in there. All right. Let me get prepped for some of these individuals coming over and then we will focus more on some of the cribs so here in this tank this is my <clears throat> breeding pair of cribenzies and so you see one in the back there uh, i believe that's the female right there you see see her colors um you know they got that red belly and they're just a great dwarf cichlid there so cool these are adult size right here um you know they get around four to five inches or so and you see the the fryer all around i've got the i think that's the male hiding underneath that uh flat clay pot i'll try to move them here see if we can get a better view of them just scoot it over there there we go so there's the pair of them the pair of adults the male and the female uh, the female has that more reddish 
belly, uh, and they're not even in their full breeding regalia yet. Uh, but they're still just the coolest looking little crib. This is regular tap water here that I'm using. Nothing, nothing special. And they're breeding out groups of fry for me. Up here are the grow outs, the cribs. So I've got these $3 each, if anybody's interested. I love all the pectoral fins. They even have a little bit of blue on there. So if you're interested, I will be at Aquashella. I can bring some of these with me. Um, if you want some shipped, I'll probably ship some that are smaller, but I'll worry about that later. Uh, and if you want to come by, I'm in Southwest Fort Worth. So those are the Crebenzies. Great, great little sickly.